Hello, good people of YouTube. Sea Lord here, and today we are talking about a ship that was already a pretty ridiculous and goofy ship in this game. But now, with the release of the updated commander skills and the most recent update, is being pushed into new levels of goofy and insanity that we never thought was possible. And that is the Tier 10 British Tech Line Battle Cruiser. Ah, I caught myself there. The Saint Vincent. But before we get into that, just want to give you guys a reminder or a heads up about a giveaway I'm doing, not here on this channel, but on the second channel. In the upcoming winter and summer breaks, I'm planning on going on quite a few road trips to a variety of museum ships. And to catalog these adventures and other IRL adventures, I created a second channel for kind of the extra and overflow footage, if you will. So what we're doing is, if this channel gets up to 1,000 subscribers, whenever that happens, uh, which is probably going to be pretty soon because you guys are awesome, I'm going to give away two premium ships, Tier 1 to Tier 9, any ship of your choosing, including the Black Friday ships that are available for purchase right now in the armory uh, the contests if you want to call it that dates are from yesterday through next monday again looks like we're going to be hitting 1000 pretty soon anyway so as long as you go to that channel subscribe to it drop a witty comment on the only video that's up there right now which is a big old blooper real compilation you will be entered into the giveaway just make sure again you uh leave a comment and subscribe to that channel and you're in like all the other giveaways we do here on this channel but there we go, make sure you enter into that. So, back to the St. Vincent. Also, today's background footage is being provided by another YouTuber by the name of Zarkoon. Zarkoon is mainly a Legends man, so if you're looking for Legends content like I see a fair few of you are, make sure to check out his channel. Link to all that will be in the description down below. So, on to the St. Vincent, which again is being shown off for us today by Zarkoon. So, two skills got some updates that are absolutely just almost made for the Saint Vincent. Now, the commander build that Zarkoon is using is up on the screen right now if editing sealer is paying attention. And you'll notice a couple of things. One, he's got some skills that no battleship player would have ever taken before the most recent update. He's using Super Heavy AP and then Fearless. Now, Super Heavy AP back in the day, it did give you a buff to your AP. However, 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 it increased the burn time of your ship. Which, if you are a battleship player, you know how much fire sucks. So why in the world would I want to increase the burn time for my battleship if I get a, you know, a mediocre buff to my AP. However, with the most recent update, while it does still increase the burn time of your battleship, now it decreases the damage you take from fires and from floods too. I should have mentioned that as well. So you get a 10% buff to your damage resistance shall we say from fires and floods while you still get this buff to your ap but yes it does still give you a longer burn time now in the case of the saint vincent that increases the alpha damage of her 9 457 millimeter guns from 14,900 to a whopping 16,000 and change which um that's some maximum damage per shell She's got nine guns. Nine guns, which, if you run the reload module, have a 26-second reload time, which Zarkoon is, is running. Okay, that's pretty good. However, is it really worth taking that? Well, dear viewer, you, you can get it down even further. Because now, Fearless, I wanted to call it Brisk, Fearless, which got an update as well, now gives you a 10% buff to your reload per fire and flooding. Which means that 
mathematically, if you do somehow get four fires and two floodings on your ship, which is the maximum instances that you can have of both, you can have a 60% reload buff to your main battery guns. Now, you probably ain't gonna live too long with that much damage coming down upon your ship. And if you do somehow get four fires and two floods on your ship, you, you are truly having a terrible day, right? But in most cases, obviously, the way with, you know, most of you watching a battleship mains, right? With just the way that the matches tend to go, you're probably going to get a couple of fires or flooding started on your ship just because, you know, it's the nature of the game. So when you put those two skills together on a ship like the St. Vincent, which, again, was already a pretty ridiculous ship. So it's a very fast battle cruiser. You got nine 457mm guns with a good reload time. And not to mention, the ship is stealthy as well. Hence why he also has Brisk, which increases your speed if you are undetected by 10%. Now, the St. Vincent has a consummate range of 12.8 kilometers, which is one of the best for tier 10 battleships. So with this build, you now have a battle cruiser that can run around the map incredibly fast, stealthily at 12.8 kilometers detection, with guns that now do 16,000 and change alpha damage, and if you set it on fire or set some floods on it, you've now just increased its DPM by quite a bit. And one of the main reasons that this is completely viable on the St. Vincent is because she gets that super heal. The super heal that she gets, while not to the same levels as like the Conqueror super heal, it's a super heal that can easily reprint at least a third of the ship's HP. And fire and flooding damage is 100% recoverable. So you can let the fires and the floodings do their thing and really not care about it because all it's really doing for you is giving you a massive buff to your DPM. You'll see when he gets an instance of fire uh, on his ship, he now has a 23 second reload on his guns. Now, um, the way that the the fearless skill works is that the first instance is not a 10% buff. In fact, it is a 20% buff, hence why his reload dropped from 26 to 23. Each one after that is an additional 10%. So if he has double fires on his St. Vincent, which again is completely possible and quite easy to happen, the man's going to get a 6 second reload puff. Which means that with just 2 fires, that thanks to the heavy AP skill is they're doing 10% you know, less damage to your ship, you have a 20 second reload with just 2 fires. You get a third fire on there, you have an 18 second reload. Also keep in mind too, Zarkoon does not have a 21 point commander on his St. Vincent, which means he's missing Adrenaline Rush. So if you throw Adrenaline Rush into the mix, which gives you a, uh, a buff per percentage of HP that you lose, th you're going to have a sub 20 second reload on this ship with two fires, no problem. And again, because of the super heal, you really don't care. And that's just talking about the main guns. If you also look at the bottom of the HUD there, you'll notice the St. Vincent does have torpedoes. She gets the, uh, the uh, gyroscopically guided torpedoes that you can launch out the side of your ship and they'll go in any direction that you want them to go within a certain um, angle off your bow. So, those torpedoes also do 30k alpha. So, again, those torpedoes also get that massive buff to their reload time on top of that. And again, keep in mind, you can have a ship with this crazy high output that can still go way up, I think like 38, 39, maybe even 40 now with risk and the engine boost going. A ship that can go that fast with nine 457mm guns that can do 16k, 16k alpha with the AP with a sub 20 second reload with just two fires. And that's just two fires. That's not including if you, you know, kind of intentionally bait out the light cruisers or the HE spammy ships to spam HE at you and you get a third fire on there, at which point, again, you're sub 20 seconds with just fearless. Then you throw adrenaline rush on top of there, you're probably like 16 seconds. 
which is absolutely friggin nuts the, <laughs> this ship is so ridiculous now I'm going to be trying this build on my ship and see how it goes. Um, I may even go for more of the chaos and just take the, the fire skill instead of the uh, the expert loader. Because why not throw it? And that's another thing. I, I, we were, we've mostly been talking about the AP. The HE on this ship is also kind of kooky too. Now, it's not quite as good as like the Conqueror's HE. But it's still pretty potent HE. So, not only can you be spamming... 16k alpha ap you can be spamming british bb he i think it's it's a little bit under the the conqueror's he or the thunderer's he in terms of its fire chance and it's um and it's alpha but it's still good he it's still far better than most other battleships he shells so again you can be spamming he with an 18 second reload with british bb he so yeah Ship's a little cracked right now. Will it stay this way? I don't know. And again, this is one of the few ships that can actually pull off this build thanks to its super heal. And it is a battle cruiser, so it, it, it is squishier than normal battleships, right? So it's very much high, 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 high risk, super high reward with your DPM. Um, if you can, you know, control the engagement, which you can completely do with a 12.8 kilometer detection range and the speed that this thing has, you can truly rain down a lot of pain with this build. So, if you're feeling just like you want to be a, a bringer of chaos and pain into the game at the moment, feel free to try this out on your St. Vincent. Um... I am, and we'll see if I manage to have some absolutely insane games here in the future. But again, be careful. You're kind of dancing on the, you know, the razor's edge here with this build because it does decrease your survivability by quite a bit on a ship that is already, again, fairly squishy if you get called out in the open. So, just wanted to showcase this goofiness to you guys today. Let me know if you tried out this build on your St. Vincent. I think Conqueror would be another good one to try this on because, again, with its HE and the uh, Super Heal, you could re really, really be just a jerk with it. <laughs> But yeah, let me know if you guys have tried out this goofy stuff and what other goofy builds should we look at here in the future with this update before these skills. Probably, I don't know if they would nerf the skills or the ship. They probably would nerf the skills, I would think, before nerfing the ships. But before they probably crank this back a little bit, let me know that in the comments down below. Hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday, a wonderful rest of your week. Hope to catch you guys in the next one.